everyone. Thank you for joining us again. Today I'm going to be making a cake. Well, I'm not making a cake, I'm going to be decorating a cake. And I decided I'm going to do one that looks a bit like Piglet. Um, I need to do one for the weekend for my niece's first birthday. So I thought, why not do it in this? So hopefully it'll turn out okay. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, I've, I've done some bits in advance, really, because I thought otherwise you'd be watching me all day. So I just covered a blue board. Just make sure whatever board you're using um, is going to be bigger than your cake. It's just covered in um, fondant. The reason I've done it in advance is just so I can get a nice smooth finish and then I'm going to put my cake on another cake card and then just sit it on the board at the end. That's my plan. Just have a look at what size cake you're going to make. In fact, Richard's going to have to just move some bits and pieces out of the way for me. Could you move that to one side for me a second? So Richard's going to move my board. Did you guys see me over on Cake Flicks page a few minutes ago? I think I was supposed to talk for five minutes, but I only managed about a minute and a half because I can't think of things to say because I'm not very good at just chatting. Um, Richard's telling me that I need to chat more because I don't always think of enough things to say. But yeah, on um, Saturday, I'm going to be on the Cake Flicks page. Uh, so Paul and David have invited me to do... Um, a video so I need to still decide what video we're going to do I was thinking of a, just like a cute animal cake topper um it's on Saturday 12 o'clock my slot yes yeah, 12 o'clock so if you're not doing anything on Saturday 12 o'clock midday pop over to cake flicks page and you can watch me doing another Facebook live and like I say if you've got any ideas of what you think I should make send send them over send them over in the comments now and then we'll have a look at what you guys think pick something easy for me I've got a 45 minute slot haven't I Yes. Yeah, 45. So I have to be able to do it in 45 minutes. Originally, I planned on doing this on the Saturday, but I thought oh, it might end up taking longer than 45 minutes. So that's why I thought, well, I'll swap them around and I'll do this one today. And I know I've done quite a few cake toppers recently, so I thought we'll swap it and, and do the cake as well. Do you want to uh, let people out just join what, know what you're making? I'm going to make a piglet cake. I've already cut him up, though. And <laughs> cut off his head. I just printed. To be fair, I didn't print the picture off to the right size. I just wanted his head really for kind of the shape that I'm going to need to make my cake. And there has been baking involved this time, but not by me. <laughs> my sister baked the cake. So it's for my sister's little girl, my niece, that this is going to be for. And it's going to be for her first birthday. Can you see, I didn't print this off big enough though. So what I did was I just picked up a cake card that's a bit bigger and I've just drawn around it. I used an edible pen rather than like an actual felt pen, just in case any of the ink goes onto the cake, then I know that this one's edible. If you don't have an edible one, draw the, look, I caught it on the buttercream, so it's already got oil on it. Um, draw the line on the back, because then that way it's not gonna come into contact with the cake. That's if you don't have an edible pen. So I just tried to go a little bit bigger all the way around. Or of course you can just print this template to the size that you want. Richard, could you pass me my cake, please? I can do. So, <clears throat> my sister's baked us a chocolate cake. Okay. My sister's the baker in the family, not me. Yeah, I want both of them, please. The only thing is they did, they've been in the freezer, but um, one did crack a little bit before. Yes, both cakes, please, Richard. So they're still pass, partially frozen. I wasn't sure what day I was gonna be doing the cake on, so um, <clears throat> we just stuck it in the freezer. So she's just made us a couple of chocolate cakes. So I've got a separate board just to try and make a bit less mess. It may fall apart a little bit when we're doing it. Hasn't actually been out the freezer that long, maybe an hour or so. Yeah. So it hasn't defrosted yet. Um, do you just keep hold of that, which is looking for, oh look, I've dropped things on my template already. It doesn't really matter if you drop water bits on there. So you don't have to use a frozen cake at all. Um, this one's fully frozen because it, like I say, I wasn't sure exactly when I wanted to use it. So I thought it keeps it fresh if, um, if it's in the freezer and I can just get it out. But also it's a little bit firmer. Obviously we have to, Ignore the fact it's got a big crack in it. Um, but it just makes it a bit easier for carving. Although I'm hoping, yeah, it's defrosted enough that I can get my knife through it easily. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut out this. So remember, I drew around that, but I didn't print this off quite big enough. So can you see it's quite small against my cake? Um, so I just drew a bit bigger around the outside edge. You use quite a thin cake card as well when you're cutting them. Yeah, I'm gonna use it quite thin, otherwise I, I can't get the scissors through it. Kind of a face shape, a bit like Olaf, isn't it? Well, you could turn into yeah. Yeah, so you, I guess you could just, well, you could make it in anything, couldn't you? You just basically print yourself off a little template. So just Google a little image 
online. So don't forget, you're not supposed to make character cakes and sell them. This one's going to my niece. So you can do them for friends and family, that's fine. I think, not that I'm an expert on the rules, I'm not, but I know a lot of people do ask me about character cakes. You can make up your own character and do them and sell them. Um, but yeah, just if you're using a character, don't be selling them. We could put a mullet, mullet on this one as well. No, this one's not getting a Tiger King mullet, Richard. Richard made me give the last one a, a Tiger King mullet and it looked nicer before I did the mullet. Okay, we might put cake in the body as well. We'll see what cake we've got left. So if I move it quite far to one side and then we cut around. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try and keep my knife fairly upright actually at first, rather than holding my knife at a slant. I can feel it's still, still fairly frozen. Soft enough that I can just run the knife through it though. Just be careful that your cake card doesn't slip. Do you want to thank Wendy for some stars? Oh, thank you for the stars, Wendy. We did well with stars last, last week. Thank you ever so much, everyone that's been sending the stars. It's brilliant. Those of you that ha don't really know about the stars, we only found out about them last week, didn't we? Yes. And um, they're a new thing where if you like somebody's video and you want to support them, you, you send the stars as a way of showing your support. I'm just going to add a tiny bit extra on that bottom bit there. Um, I'm going to have to do this twice as well. And the stars kind of give the creator of the video, like, was it about 0.8 pence? A few pennies. Yeah, 0.8 of a pence per star. But I, I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but actually things add up. It's, and it's, it's more just so that you guys are showing appreciation of it. And, and I don't mean that you have to give me them, but, um, you know, any videos you watch from anyone on Facebook... Can they put it on anyone's video or do people have to have been set up for it actually? I don't actually know. I presume you can just send them to anyone. So we've gone around that once. I want it a little bit thicker. I mean, there's not going to be many people eating this cake, but my sister's baked me two cakes. That's because we're on lockdown still. Yes, I know it's because we're on lockdown. My sister baked me two cakes because I told her I needed two cakes. <laughs> she probably could have got away with just one and I could have cut that in half, but thank you. I'm just going to do exactly the same on the other one. Oh, and you guys that um, were after some of the Sarah tools that we'd run out of, we have got more in stock now. They've literally just arrived about 10 minutes ago. So yeah, I've not got them in the system yet. But they're not online yet. So once we finish this video, we'll put the, the uh, products back online so that those of you that are waiting for some can get hold of them. Okay, let's go again. I realise I cut that one slightly different to this one, shape-wise. So I could just pick that up and draw around this one this time. Only because I, I know I didn't follow the edge exact, so let's try. If one of these ends up a bit smaller than the other, which it might, because I think I'm holding my knife at a little bit of an angle while I'm doing this, I'll use the smaller one on the top. Yeah, it'll make sense why in a minute. You get lots of stars now. Oh, thank you for all the stars, everyone. Did anybody see me on the Cake Flicks page five, ten minutes ago? I don't think I did very well on my introduction. When I'm left on my own to just talk with nobody to respond to me, I, I don't know what to say or what things to say. Did Especially because I wasn't making anything. I think if I'd have been making something, I could have found things to chat about. I think it's crazy, like how you. I think you just get very nervous. Well, yeah, I do. Even though I can't see anybody, so I shouldn't shouldn't get nervous. No, it's when you have to talk about yourself. Actually, sometimes no. Sometimes I have no problem talking about myself at all. <laughs> and then other times I just can't think of things to say. Off um, yeah, but them? I might need them. Okay. Um, Shall I put them on a plate? Yeah, you stick them on a plate and move them to one side for me. Hang on, so I've got both of these. What I would normally do is, if I wanted like a big thick cake, I'd cut these in half further, so I might have like three then layers of buttercream to go in the middle. I'm tempted to do it, but I left my big knife upstairs, so I think actually I'm just gonna leave them like this. Hang on, does one look bigger than the other, or do they both look about the same? <laughs> See, I've cut it at a slant, but do you know what I've done? The slant would work well this way, but the face was cut wrong for me to do it that way, so... Good job there. Yeah, I didn't do very well with that, did I? I'm just working out if I can still use it this way and... No, I'm going to use it this way. Okay, so, what I need to do first, and it's going to be a bit messy, which is fine. So usually when I'm making like a cake like this, I will keep cleaning down the work surface and coming back to it, it's black from that pen. Um, in the video, it's much harder for me to keep kind of getting up and down and having a good clean. But you guys can, if you're having a go at this, you can have a good clean down in between. Please, could you pass me my buttercream? So I'm going to stick the cakes to this. Actually, I'm wondering whether I could just leave it back that way around. Yeah, 
I'm gonna stick it this way around. Okay, so I'm gonna stick this onto here. So. So nice color pink buttercream you got there. Thanks, Richard actually made me the buttercream. I added the food coloring all on my own. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just get Richard to do all the jobs that I don't like doing. I don't know why I dislike making buttercream because it's dead easy. Um, it's literally butter and icing sugar. We don't usually measure it out, do we? Or I don't. I don't know I if don't, you do. I just literally. You just check it roughly. What quantities? Uh, for buttercream, I generally roughly use about two hundred fifty grams of butter, half a kilo of icing sugar, a dash of water, a little bit of Trax, which is vegetable shortening in it, and then give it a massive whisk. Yeah, we just whisked it up. And um, the colour. I know it doesn't look like this colour, but I used. The colour metal hot pink, in fact, I feel like I should show you the colour in the top because it's a really nice colour. But I didn't want it as bright as this. So I did I used the can you see that on the camera? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a really nice colour. In fact, that's like the colour I want. I want his body to be. Definitely. That's it, yeah. But um so I just put like the tiniest drop of that in to give me like a pale pink. I was gonna go for chocolate buttercream, but I really wanted pink in it, so pink. Although I've got white chocolate ganache and I also dyed that pink. Yeah, you can use the same colour in kind of ganache as well. Yeah, I used it in, yeah, it's an oil-based colour. So that's an oil-based colour, so you, it works really well in like chocolate, ganache, buttercream because cake of the oil. Cake mix as well. Yeah, cake mix. You can use it on other things as well. I think the one thing that you doesn't work well on or that you're not supposed to use it in is maybe royal icing, but everything else I think it's okay for. I'm sure I either read or heard that from somewhere. But yeah, they're, they're really nice, but you have to be careful because they're quite concentrated, so... Start with a small amount, and then you can always add more as, as necessary. So we'll just put a bit of buttercream on there. I've forgotten which one was my bottom one. My cake card looks a bit big now, doesn't it, compared to that? Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna cut my cake card down, actually. I didn't work this out very well at all today, did I? Just gonna cut this a little bit small, just so it doesn't poke out the bottom of my cake too much, otherwise you'll end up seeing it. I'll pop that over there for Richard to sort out for me. Yeah, Rachel's asked how much trex would we add to our buttercream. It is literally just a spoonful. There's like a tablespoon mouth amount, isn't it, that you put on? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't tend to measure things out, but yeah, roughly about a tablespoon of trex in it. Usually, would you would cut this to the right to the right size before sticking your cake on, not after, like I'm doing, because you don't really want to get any bits of card stuck in with that cake. There's a couple of people that I've seen a message asking regarding orders that they place. Can they amend them? Or add things to them. Is it today? If they've placed them today, yeah. Yeah, if they've placed yeah. them today or last night. And last drop, night's ones you can still If amend you need to amend anything, just drop us a message and we'll yeah. see what we can do. Because we haven't posted anything yet this morning. Okay, so I'm going to put this in between the middle now. Like I say, I would have normally cut this into more, more layers so that I could get more layers of buttercream in there. It's a nice bright pink. I've got a bit of chocolate. Um, it's not a bright pink, it's a pastel pink, Richard. Okay, it's a nice pink. Um, I thought it matched piglet. That's why I went for pink. And I thought it was quite a nice, nice girly colour. I shouldn't say that because pink's not for girls, is it? Pink is for everyone. Richard has a jumper this colour. Yeah, but you weren't very, you're not very impressed when I wear it though. <laughs> you like my new bright trainers. And he's got some hideous trainers. <laughs> he's not worn them yet, so I'm hoping he's gonna send them back. Uh, Lindsay's asked, why do we add treks? Um, it just makes it a bit softer without yeah. us having to add as much water. Yeah. So sometimes like if we add, you can add milk to buttercream, but obviously it doesn't last as long because you've got milk in it. So if you add water, it's going to last that little bit longer. I'm just going to put this one on here. Um, but uh, yeah, sometimes it's a bit thick and hard for me to spread and it sort of pulls up even more cake crumbs when it's really difficult to spread. So I want the buttercream softer. So sometimes I can just whisk it more and it makes it softer. But it's quite cold in here, so when it's been sat, because that's been sat on the side for what, maybe 45 minutes, that buttercream, was it when we made it, about 45 yeah. minutes ago? Um, it starts to firm up again, um, even if it's been whisked to be quite soft. So if we add a bit of shortening, it just makes it that little bit softer without us having to add a lot of water. If you add a lot of water, it's it's not the same kind of consistency, is it? No. It's, it's, I, I mean, I just think, for sim put it simply, it makes it a bit lighter and fluffier. Yeah, yeah, it does. Whereas butter's quite heavy, it's still quite heavy. And it's, is it what they call like a crusting buttercream is, isn't it, when you put a bit of shortening in? Trex is, tre and the other word for tre trex is like a vegetable shortening. It's vegetable shortening, so it's not yeah. fat or anything like that. Right, okay, so. Yeah, but I mean, it's not like animal fat is what I meant. Okay, so what I want to do is, create more shape and I know you can't tell from the picture what shape his face is and it's a little bit of guessing because I didn't really print off any pictures of him from the side I don't think 
but his cheeks kind of poke out so. I know this is bigger than this, but I'm gonna kind of go across. Can you see this line here? Because I want this bit to kind of be a little bit further down. So we'll start curving it. So you can see with my knife, I'm kind of pushing it downwards at a bit of a curve. Let's cut off this way as well. I feel like I probably cut quite a lot off because it's quite a deep that cake. Is quite, that is a very deep cake. Yeah, I know. It wasn't. <laughs> it was, my sister was like, I'll just do one cake mix. And I was like, no, it won't be enough. Definitely won't be enough. Um, and actually, there's a lot. <laughs> she probably could have just done one. I told her, like, no, do two cake mixes. So I think she did one and a half. And it's still a lot more than I was thinking it was going to be. Well, your head's getting sharp. Right? Sorry. <coughs> so we're going to curve it round. Is that your tummy? I can hear rumbling. Is rumbling, yeah. Just what everybody wants to hear. Okay. I'm sure they can't hear it. I can hear it. Right, okay, so I'm gonna cut a bit more off here still. So can you see this bit here wants to be lower than like the cheek area? And if you don't cut enough off, it, it doesn't matter because you can always cut more off, whereas if you cut too much off, it's harder to fix it. I mean, we can still stick bits of cake back on, but it's easier to just take a small bit off at a time and keep kind of going at it. If anybody asks you knives, you've got a load more coming in. Yeah, are they arriving today on knives? I'm hoping today, yeah. I know the knives have been really popular. We've got them in loads of different patterns and different colours and things. But we were we were starting to run low on them, so certain patterns. We've even got some really cool Christmas ones now. Oh, yeah. But I don't know. You're starting to think about Christmas already, Richard. I wonder what you can get me. Or what I can get myself. Right, okay. I think maybe I've done not quite enough of this. So the top of his head is tiny. The bottom of his head is quite big. So I think I need the top of his head almost to be slightly further up I maybe need to kind of stick some more cake on the cheek area here and here I could even use a bit of cream to stick that on I'm just resting it on for the time being to just kind of see what it's gonna look like maybe even a bit more there so can you see it's kind of building up the cheek area I have got clean hands by the way you can use gloves as well when you're doing this it's only that um, I'm not very good with feeling things when I've got gloves on I know that sounds silly but I can't feel what I'm doing and then I think gloves is always one of those hot topics where we, we've we've done quite a lot of videos over the years and one of the biggest comments we get is that why I'm not wearing, wearing gloves, gloves. Yeah. it's disgusting, etc, etc. Um, I mean, Zoe just wash her hands. Uh, sometimes they look like they've got colouring on them, but it's basically If I was colouring. doing these like mass market for people and stuff, it sounds awful if I say, don't take offence, Danielle, that I'm saying it's only for my sister. Um, <laughs> but it's only for... I suppose it's not technically for my sister, it's for her little girl, so my niece. But I have got clean hands. I think I'll build that up a bit more in the middle for the narrow. So can you see this shape kind of starting to take shape? I feel like his cheeks still need to be further up there. Is it coming together a bit? Yeah, his face it. is a bit wider on mine than it is on um, the actual one. I'm gonna cut more off. Can you see the edges so it kind of rounds the side? Of his yeah, face it's a, a little bit. Random shape when you're on this camera angle. Does it? Yeah. <laughs> I just think it really looks like Olaf. So I'm going to cut some more off here. So I want the bottom of his chin to be kind of set back a little bit more, but not quite as far back as the forehead. I don't think. No, actually, maybe. I'm not, I really can't tell from the picture whether that's sort of set back as far as the forehead or not. Does his chin come quite far down? I haven't watched it for ages, Winnie the Pooh. I was going to ask if you have Richard, but I know that you don't really watch Winnie the Pooh, do you? No, but I have made Winnie the Pooh in a cake before. I know you have. <laughs> Jesus, I wish I'd not brought it up. <laughs> Did anybody watch on, was it Tuesday, when you didn't shut up about your bloody Winnie the Pooh cake? I think I said it once. Mm. You'll have to ask your sister whose is the most impressive cake, the ones with that. I don't know if she's watching, actually. She, she said she's... Oh, is she? I don't know. Yeah. I'm surprised, actually, people haven't asked for a recipe yet. Danielle, do you want to give people your uh, chocolate cake recipe? It is a nice chocolate cake recipe. My sister keeps winning awards, doesn't she, at her work? Or competitions. She's got baking trophies. I don't have baking trophies. But she does. Okay, that's my rough shape, I think. Um, let's see. So I've kind of done it so his head's going to be up there. His eyes are going to be in about here. I'm just going to push in a bit more for the eyes. I'm going to use my use a ball and pull up. Do you know what? You could even use the bottom of the knife. It is clean again. It is clean, the knife. The only thing is it compacts my cake quite a bit, but that's easier than me trying to cut that shape out. 
You could even use that cake pop mix so that the cake mixed with buttercream to fill in any little bits and pieces. Not convinced I've got it quite right. So his nose is going to be, hang on, it would have helped if I'd just printed it out to the right size. I think he's, I'm going to put his mouth down to about here. And I can't see where I just did that. There. Oh, actually, now that looks quite high up. I'm going to go even lower than what I just marked. So we're going to do a curve. I don't know if this really shows up very well when I'm doing this curve. All right, so I've put the line in, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut from either side, but in like at that angle, so that we get a little dip where I want the mouth to be. So this is where when it is partially frozen, it's a little bit easier for bits like this, because you can already see that it is, um, it's crumbling a little bit anyway. So if it's a really fresh cake, it crumbles even more. Like, it's nice to have a really, it is a fresh cake, it's just, it's been in the freezer um, for just a day or two. But if you've baked it and just let it cool and then you start carving it immediately, it's gonna crumble even more. Does it look more like Piglet now? It's starting to, yeah. Piglet's got quite big cheeks. Well, from this angle. Okay, maybe I get, did his cheeks too much. It's kind of got Olaf in, Olaf in, mind. in my mind, yeah. Well, we were thinking today we, you were gonna do you were going to do a creature from Olaf, weren't you, possibly? Oh, yeah, I was going to do... Is it Bruni? Brunei. I've Brunei. Not I've not seen it. It's a little purple lizard thing. Just put a bit more triangle for a cake. What's your head? Triangle of cake on for his nose. Can you see that? Maybe even a tiny bit more. Look at this, you can use all your little offcuts. Yeah, that's one thing we do find, like... Oh, never get rid of your offcuts on cake, because they always come in handy. He's Either looks for eating weird. Or he might not look very nice. Sorry, Danielle. Ella won't mind, will she? She's only one. She might not even know that it's Piglet. Well, not if I don't make it look right. Okay, so. Richard, please could you pass me my chocolate ganache? And just clear away some of my cake crumbs for me, please. Thank you. It's my assistant for the day. Do you need that microwave? Um, it actually hasn't found out that much. It looks like chocolate mousse, doesn't it? It looks like strawberry chocolate mousse. I don't know if you guys can actually see it very well. Um, it is chocolate ganache. So I actually put in just a spoonful, like a large spoonful of a bit of the um, uh, buttercream that I just made with it, with the chocolate ganache, because I just thought it would stop it setting really hard, but still be a little bit firmer than using the buttercream on its own. But yeah, it's, it's a bit firmer than the buttercream. You unplugged the microwave, Richard, so. Yeah, it might just be a tiny bit. Did it? Did I not have a, um... Richard, I had a um, palette knife in this. Where's it gone? This little one here? Yeah. Thank That's you. never been in it. It was in it. <laughs> I stuck one in it. Maybe that's easier for me to, yeah, there we go. It feels easier for me to kind of spread. Yes, there's the odd lump of white chocolate in there. Yeah, actually, when I first, um, so again, I just put just a drop of that in with the chocolate ganache. Look at the colour of me. Um, and at first it looked like a salmon-y colour. But when I kept whisking it up for ages, the, uh, the yellow from, like, the chocolate just seemed to end up a bit paler. Yeah, with so it the looks more pink rather than less salmon now. With the colour, man, it does deepen over time as well. When people yeah. use it, so it does darken a little bit. I don't know why I'm mixing this one. I could have just got you to do it. You could have just asked me to do it, yeah. I'm sure people enjoy what My arm's does. aching already. That's how feeble and weak I am. Okay, let's just spread it on. Oh, there is a, on, there is a few little chunks of white chocolate in there. Um, actually, I think it does want microwaving for just a few seconds. Just because, can you see, it's dragging off quite a lot of the cake crumbs with it. It's just because it's a little bit firm. So if I soften it, it should hopefully be a little bit better. So as I bring my palette knife off, it's kind of bringing off some bits of cake. I forgot to get out actually my smoother, you know, my flexi smoother. Oh yeah, that's a bit better, thank you. Yeah, I can feel that's much better now, so much easier. You just want to, with your ganache, have it like, almost like peanut butter consistency, isn't it really, for ganache? Yes. Richard makes the ganache for me as well. Not that I'm lazy or anything. 
So I'm just kind of taking it around the sides as well. Oops, pulled off a bit of his cheek. Try not to eat it as I'm going along since you guys are watching. See, with the YouTube videos, you guys don't see <laughs> when I'm eating the off cuts as I'm making it. You can't just eat it, aren't you? It'd be, no, I haven't eaten any. That's what I said, I can't really eat it when you guys are watching. What are you going for breakfast again today? Um, a chocolate bunny. It was just upstairs looking at me. It tasted like mint toothpaste. Just because I just brushed my teeth that it tasted of my mint toothpaste. It was just looking at me on the side and it was saying, eat me Zoe. I didn't eat the whole thing, just its ears. Okay, so this is the boring bit for you guys to watch. So, when I'm doing these on videos and things, I always rush it a little bit because, like I say, it's a bit boring watching me put um, ganache on everything. But when I'm doing it properly, and it's not just for a quick video, I'll spend a while getting one layer on nice and thin and smoothing it, and then I'll put it in the fridge, and then I put, like, a second layer on. And really, you shouldn't... You want to... If you want to avoid all the um, crumbs in your buttercream, or ganache even, um... You should avoid scraping them back on the edge of the bowl that you're using, like what I'm doing now. I'm just scraping them back on there. My sister doesn't mind if there's cake crumbs in her cake. There's crumbs in it anyway. I guess it's made of crumbs. So you guys won't be able to see me doing like kind of around the sides, but I'm just... Oh, have you got it on that one? Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to go right around. I'm trying to seal it in at the bottom because I don't want bits of cake poking out the bottom. Because if you can get this fully covering everywhere, then it's airtight and it just lasts a bit longer. And you don't have to use ganache. Sometimes, sometimes I opt for buttercream, sometimes I opt for ganache. But ganache sets a bit firmer. There's a bit of cake everywhere. There's cake everywhere. Okay, then we, should have, we should have told people while you're putting this, this coat on the cake, they can go make themselves a cup of tea or something. Oh yeah, if you want to make yourselves a cup of tea. Oh, so we can cup it in the cake. Because normally this, normally this bit in our videos is sped up quite quickly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know sometimes. Get round to finishing it. That's if it's not for anyone. Obviously, you can't just put it down and leave it for a few days and finish it another time if someone's going to be eating it. The awkward bits are any bits that have got shaping. Well, we're starting to look a little bit more from this angle. Well, that's a fair argument. Thanks, Richard. <laughs> okay. So I'm going in the eyes. Now, I guess the advantage of buttercream over ganache is that... These bits where the eyes are now that I'm going over, if you put too much buttercream in there, it doesn't really set hard. So when I put the fondant on, I can push more shape into it. But when it's um, ganache, the ganache will actually set. So if I try and push too much into the fondant when I'm putting the fondant layer on, um, the ganache underneath will just crack. Right, I'm, I'm going to do that when I look. You see, see if anybody wants questions. to ask any questions. If anybody's got any questions, ask away. Now's a good time to ask. Did any of you guys purchase the um, basics figure making class, actually? I should have mentioned about that, shouldn't I? So, um, if you did purchase it, just because I think people are confused about joining the group. So, we've got a separate group set up, which is once you've purchased the basic figure making class, you need to um, join the group. Now, it doesn't just join you automatically. You have to click to apply to be in it. And then what happens is it asks you three questions. Um, one's just confirming you've paid for the course because the group isn't for people that haven't paid for the course because the group is going to be where the class itself is streamed from. And then it's also going to ask you for your order number. So that's so that I can look up your order and just confirm, not that I don't trust people, um, but just confirm that it is you that's paid for the course. Okay. So if you've paid for it under a different name, just maybe mention that because sometimes if I think the names don't match up with the order numbers, I don't accept you into the group. So just let me know. Um, also, it just says that you're going to 
um, adhere to the group rules, I, but he didn't actually let me write group rules on there. But I think we just wrote some general rules, didn't we, in the documentation that you should have been emailed as well. So if you didn't get emailed any documentation when you paid for it, let us know. It's sometimes just that our emails go to people's junk mail. So just have a good check in your junk mail for it. Um, don't leave it until the class is due to start when you decide to join the group. Because I was thinking, oh, people might think, oh, the class is gonna, the live's gonna start in 10 minutes, I'll go join the group now. It can take me a few hours to go on and accept people into that group. So if you paid for it, get yourself in that group straight away. Don't wait till Monday if you're planning on watching it live. You don't have to watch it live as well, so that's also worth saying. If you can't watch it live on Monday, it doesn't matter. It's also, it's in more than one part as well as this uh, basic figures class. I just have to be careful. I'm not pulling bits of this back off when I'm going over it. And I've completely lost track of what I was saying. Oh yeah, so get yourself over to the group once you've paid um, so that you can get accepted into it because then if there's any problems with getting you in there or you can't find the group, we know well in advance of the uh, actual class going on and we can get that sorted out. Also, I've put a video in there of the tools and equipment. So you should have been sent a list as well. So this is just if you've paid for the class, but um, there's also the list in there so as a document, but also a video so that I could show you what I'll be using. It doesn't matter if you don't have the same thing, but the video kind of explains that actually, you know, I might have um, a certain type of Dresden tool, but that what the difference is between like that and a cheap one or a different brand one, what you definitely need and what, like if you've got, you can use, but if you don't have it, it doesn't matter. It's not necessary, all that kind of thing. I'm just rambling now, aren't I? Yeah, um, I apologize to people. I don't know if the Wi-Fi is not that great today because the fuck seems to be pretty bad. Is it? Oh no. Well, it's come, it keeps, seems to be dropping Do you out. think it's the Wi-Fi or do you think it's my phone? I think I need a new phone. Your phone's newer than mine. Well, I know, but it's still, it was earlier. The footage was just kind of a bit jumpy on my phone. To be fair, I think it's you and technology because... Yeah, everything technology-wise that I touch kind of breaks. Okay, so I'm not worried about being perfect. Don't take offence to that, Danielle. Anybody that's just joined, Danielle is my sister. Danielle baked me the cake. Oops. And this is for my niece for her first birthday. Danielle, is Ella watching the video? She, my niece will forget what I've looked like, what I look like because of lockdown. <laughs> she won't really. My sister lives on the same street as us, so I can walk past the window and wave at my little niece. Yeah, it's coming now. Yeah, so it's a little bit lumpy bumpy. So what I was planning on doing was to smooth off the curves. I usually have like a of me a flexible smoother but i left them in the cupboard richard is that a hint to me to get yes them? you know there's ugh, covered in muck um not muck i'm covered in cake it's not muck um the flexible smoothers just help me to kind of go around shapes that curves and things sometimes i just use my finger which what? shouldn't do the... the flexible ones the ones that i cut out of card ah, right. yeah those are the ones thank you I only need one, but thank you. So, uh, these are ones that I just cut out of an actual cake mat, but you can buy them as well. So we do sell like proper ones. We don't sell the, the ones that I cut up and made myself. Um, but yeah, anything that's a curve is very difficult to smooth. So if you've got something flexible, you can hold it at a little bit of an angle and then just gently pull that along the edge. Just keep scraping bits off. To be fair, I've gone over it quite a bit with the other smooth, the smoother, the palette knife. So I shouldn't hopefully need to take too much off. Sometimes it takes it back off rather than smoothing it, it like pulls too much off and a bit of my cake with it, so I'm hoping I don't do that too much. So it's a little bit lumpy bumpy here. I wonder if it's, uh, he's got quite a fat face as my piglet. Yeah, he might. Yeah, that looks good. Richard just says that just to keep me happy. Um. Let's see if I can use this curve bit to just kind of push into the eyes a little bit. So I was going to do his body and cake, but I'm tempted just because it's taking me a while to do this. I might even just do his body in um, 
icing. We'll see, because if the body's massive, it might be too much to just do it in icing. Okay, so normally what I do bit. now, what? Lean this way a bit. Okay, normally what I do now is um, pop that in the fridge. Oh wait, he's got a scruffy chin. So I'd put that in the fridge for sort of 10 minutes and let that firm up. But you guys will be bored if you wait 10 minutes for it, that just to be sat in the fridge. Could you get me another one of these mats, please? Yep. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna ice on it straight away. Or in a minute, I'm gonna ice on it. So I'm just moving some of the cake crumbs to, where am I gonna move them to? I didn't actually bring a bin over here. Oh, they'll just have to stay on the corner. Let's get some kitchen roll to wipe my hands on. Should have really brought a wet cloth over for wiping my hands on. Otherwise there's gonna be crumbs in everything. Okay, so I'm just gonna hang up. Let's get rid of some more crumbs. This is always the exciting bit when people have to watch you Watch clean. me clean. <laughs> okay, could you put my board down for me? Watch my cake, thank you. Um, the black on these is when I've dusted previous cakes with the black luster dust. It's really difficult to get the black luster dust back off things. Still keep hold of that. I wanna just pick this up, so, cause it's on a cake card, I should be able to grab that easy. Wait, and I'm gonna move it over to here. I have loads of these, cause I just like to transfer my cakes from one board to the other. Can I have my kitchen roll back? Hold that under there so that I'm not scraping it all on the floor. Thanks, I've just got Richard holding the board to collect all my, uh, oops, and bits of chocolate cake on. I think I'm actually spreading it rather than cleaning it. There we go. Okay, still got cake crumbs everywhere. So now what we want to do is we want to cover this in fondant. So I want to pick a colour. So originally I was thinking that colour, but he looks a bit brighter. So that one's a little bit brighter. I think I'm going to use the extra one because... So the difference between the Renshaw's Ready to Roll and the Ready to Roll Extra is this one's a bit firmer. The normal one comes in more colours. Um, doesn't it? But this one does come in a few colours. But it's just a little bit firmer. I might need more than one pack, actually, Richard. Um, so it's, it just means I can roll it thinner and kind of flex it a bit more without it tearing as easily. Whereas that one, I probably have to keep it a bit thicker to get it on that. Please, could you get me another one of these? Which one is it? Um, it's the pink extra. Richard's just going to get me one of these from out of the shop. Okay. I mean, I might be able to do it with one, but I'm just thinking, oh, I'm just thinking I might be pushing it, trying to get it out of one and just going a bit thin and then tearing it. Also, I'm going to need some of the same colour for his arms later anyway. Yeah, this is just the pink extra. I should have really got Richard to need this in advance. So with all your fondants, they'll feel a bit firm when you first get them out of the pack. So make sure you give them a good knead. I'm getting hungry now. Is it not very clear? What's the footage like, guys? Is the footage really bad for you guys? Can you see, is the picture clear though, or is the picture not very clear? It's maybe our internet. Hopefully you guys can still tell what I'm doing. Just ask, do we end up wasting a lot of butter cream and fondant? Well, I have a lot of like leftover bits, but quite often I'll just use them in the videos. Yeah. Really so fun. sometimes some of the videos, like they don't, or not all my cakes always get eaten. So if I've, if I've been opening certain colors and I've got a lot left, I'll just do other videos that have to use the same colors. So you might have noticed that a lot of the YouTube and Facebook lives from quite a few weeks ago had brown, because actually we used a lot of brown fondant in some classes a while ago. And there was an awful lot of it left that was opened. And of course the stuff that's opened and been used in classes, I can't give to anybody to eat, but I don't want to throw it away. So <laughs> Zoe I used it in the videos. Any, Zoe doesn't throw anything away. We've got a house full of cardboard I'm boxes. I'm an absolute hoarder. I hate waste. Um, yeah, so I think, well, if, if no one's going to eat it, I guess that's kind of a waste though if I make a cake that nobody's going to eat. But if nobody's going to eat it, then I'll just use all the bits that were left over. But you can use them for practicing, that's the thing. It's good to use for practicing. Um, or like I'll use some of the older stuff for my boards, just for decorating boards with. Because I always think, well, no one's going to eat the icing on the boards. Always comes in handy. Yeah. In fact, what colour did I use on the icing on the board? 
I forgot, I kind of mixed a couple of blues together because there were ones that I had opened and in the cupboard. Was it turquoise? Yeah. It was turquoise and then it was another blue which was just a little bit that I had in the bag left over. So I just mixed them together for that. So I can feel this one's really firm. I'm gonna to have to stand up to, to roll it out because when I'm sat down, I can't put enough pressure. And I feel like actually this is more than, <laughs> way more than I need. I can't get my chair out from this table. I'm like an old woman. Thanks. So this is where really like, at this point you would normally have your cake in the fridge so that the ganache is chilling and then you'd have wiped down your work surface properly and you'd have made sure your hands are really nicely washed. See, to avoid that happening straight away. And that's sometimes as well why I do them in... Does everybody actually, that's watching, is like Winnie the Pooh? Who doesn't like Winnie the Pooh? I remember you, uh, did you, you went on the ride at Disney, Yeah, we went on the Winnie the Pooh, the ride. The one that's made for kids. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is, can you see where I've kneaded it and there's a few cracks in the back where I haven't kind of pushed it together? I'm just going to push them together a little bit. I know it looks messy at the moment, but if not, sometimes if I roll it thin and it's still got those cracks in the bottom, that's like a weak point for it. And when it's thinner, it might come apart at that point. So that's why I'm just going to push them out. It's got bits of brown in it. Piglet's going to look like he's been playing in the mud. Also, the camera can be going well all over the place. Sorry, guys. It's pretty, <laughs> pretty firm stuff. The same thing is when it's firm. Also, it's quite cold in here, so if it's warm in your room and the fondant's been left at room temperature, um, it will just be a little bit softer anyway. Because it's quite cold in this room and my fondant is stored in here anyway, um, it's fairly cool, so it's fairly firm. I could have spent longer kneading it, but... And I should have really put a non-slip mat under this mat to stop it from going all over the place. So ideally I want it to go a little bit thinner because that's still really thick. But um, Time is uh, against us because we've been on 42 minutes. Have we? No way. Yeah. God, you guys might be sat here all day. So this morning I was, I was torn between doing this piglet cake or like a stack of them. So it's going to be a honey pot with Winnie the Pooh coming out and then piglet on top of... Winnie the Pooh and then a little teddy bear I was going to put on top of Piglet's head. And then I was like, oh, it might take a little bit longer than this one. So I opted for this one, but I really wanted to do the other one. But I hadn't realised how long it's going to take. So this is the only thing is, you know when you're doing something... Can okay, I have my cake back, please? That's meant to look... It's still a bit thick, really, but... So if you're doing it at home, just go a little bit... A little bit uh, thinner. In fact, I'm going to roll it just a tiny bit more. I know that for my sister, this is going to be fine because my sister actually likes in fondant. Oh, there's some chocolate cake in it. Yeah, I know. I love chocolate cake in it everywhere. Um, <laughs> most people are surprised by that because I know most of the comments we get on our videos is, oh, disgusting. Who eats fondant? And uh, Danielle, if you're still there, tell everybody how much you like eating fondant. So, you know, you asked about wasting fondant afterwards, like my off cuts. My sister will very happily come round and just eat fondant, which is pretty disgusting. Okay. But some fondants do taste better than other fondants, but to be honest. We're not going to say which brands taste better than others, but... I don't eat them, to be honest, very often, the fondant, do even, I? Even some smell funny compared to others, I think. Because well, we use quite a variety. Yeah. Um, they all just taste different, so it depends what kind of thing you like. Some are really sweet well, and some are less sweet. Like, really. He's a little bit bumpy, so I should have maybe smoothed off underneath his face a little bit more. So the thing is with your ganache, if you don't get it really smooth, it does show on the surface. So can you see I'm trying to push in where I've got the indentations first? Because if I pull it tight everywhere else and then try pressing in the indentations, sometimes if it's quite far in that I'm pressing, it can tear, tear my um, fondant. So I'm just going to go just above his nose here. It doesn't have like a super pointy nose, does he? It's a little bit rounded. In for the eye area. Just make sure it then reaches to the board. He might have a tiny body and just out of icing, just to speed up things so that you guys don't have to watch me for an entire day. Yeah, I think he looks more like, shape-wise, I've gone more for Olaf than Piglet. Okay, so let's turn it this way. So anywhere that you get creases, just kind of pull it open a little bit and then 
then rub down. If it's been in the fridge, what you usually find is when you take it out of the fridge, um, your ganache has a tiny bit of condensation on, so then I don't need to put anything between the fondant and the ganache because that little bit of condensation makes it slightly damp and tacky, so this usually just sticks to it. If not, you can put a little bit of water on. If you've got like a spritzer bottle, I actually don't have a spritzer bottle, but I watch people use like the spritzer bottles for just spraying a tiny bit of water There's on the work surface. Like water your pants with. Yeah, that kind of thing. Um, they look like really handy. I do keep meaning to get one, never get around to it. So I'm just pressing fairly firmly in, in around the bottom. I, I, don't think, want I, think it to see what I think people can tell what it is. That's because he's pink. He's got quite a stuck up nose. Does people have a stuck up nose? I don't know. I haven't really seen any pictures of him from the side. He's got a piggy nose, hasn't he? Talking about eating fondant, hmm? don't you... Is it... I don't eat fondant. No, no, but you eat um, raw jelly, don't you? Though? Raw jelly? It's not raw, Richard. Well, it is, you know, when you get it in the packs and not... It's not... It's just not diluted. Yeah, but it's not like... often. I remember, I do, I do remember that. I'm just going to go in a bit deeper here, at the edge of his mouth. No, just the jelly cube. Sometimes if I... I don't even buy jelly, so it must have been a long time ago yeah, that you well, saw me eat a piece of jelly. Yes, yeah, sometimes I, uh, I eat jelly. I think his mouth's too wide, actually, on mine. Rebecca has said, don't worry about time with nowhere to be. I forget it is locked. Down, <laughs> so, yeah. We're going to keep you here all day now. It's more worried about just boring you all. <laughs> so I'm using the pointy end of the Dresden tool. To push in. I'm going actually fairly deep. I guess because I left the fondant fairly thick and get away with going fairly deep. I think actually if I go much deeper it's going to cut through to the cake but there we go. Yeah my mouth is, is just a little bit on the wide side I think for piglets. So really it should have kind of come up a bit more maybe there. So these bits are just slightly far out from there we go you can see the cake there. Do you know what I'm not overly worried because you can see the brown of the cake, although I don't know if you guys can very well. Um, but he would be kind of a bit shadowed there anyway. I don't know how to use that way. This one's going to be a bit easier. So the fact that it's darker from the cake just makes it look more like a shadow. So you can either use like a rubber-ended tool like this. You can see it's really dark there now. We're going to put shading in there as well. Or if you want, you could just use so that or... That one it doesn't really matter which one. I'm just gonna Somebody use the asked, ball until here. Hmm? Uh, I think it's Aisha has asked, "What do we do with all our leftover cake?" Um, I have lots in the freezer. Yeah. Um, those leftover bits there, I don't. I might put some in the body, or I might just make the body out of icing. I'm not sure. At one point, right, we used to collect loads, didn't we? And I'd be like, "Well, I'll make cake pops out of it," and I never ever did. Um, it just never got round to it, did we? Um, hang on, let's, so his eyes are going to go in about here. I'm just going to put a little bit more of a line there. And then um, for a little while, we kind of collected it, and a lady used to come from a place where they, they collected, like, food for homeless, and just every so often she used to come around, didn't she? And I'd put all the extra bits in bags and freeze them, and she'd just come around and collect the bags. And I think they used to take it to, like, I don't know, was it a food bank or a homeless shelter? Homeless shelter um shelter. And I think they just used to microwave it and have it with custard. As long as the flavours weren't too fancy, they were never keen on it if it was like really fancy flavours. I've just cut it a tiny bit short on the edge there. Yeah, the cat's is the top down. Yes, Richard. So <laughs> just make sure this is pushed in really tight under here because if not, when you're cutting, you'll cut and then you'll find that actually it ends up part way up the cake instead of at the very edge. So the other side, I think I hadn't quite pushed it in far enough. So if I just use that, can you see just to nudge it in really tight? Then when I cut it, it should hopefully not leave, hopefully, too much of a gap. He's got a little crease under his chin. Dun, dun, dun. I'm not, again, I'm not too worried because actually his body will attach. Actually, it's just a little bit of chocolate ganache there. Hopefully that will be okay. And let's dip it around here. Okay. Tiny bit of ganache peeking out, but that might have been what was on my board anyway. So just run the tool around the edge just to... Neaten that off. I'm going to keep these bits because I need some of this pink for his arms. Although he might have bits of chocolate cake in his arms. But yeah, now, like any, if it's big off cuts and things, 
off cakes I'll put it in the freezer um, although I, if I've frozen it like that I can't refreeze it um, quite often my dad eats a lot of it <laughs> doesn't he yeah. he's a bit bumpy he's a bit lumpy bumpy um, I'm just smoothing it with my hands but you can actually smooth it with the proper smoothers a little bit lumpy bumpy around the side of his head He's looking a little bit more like Piglet now, I think. Yeah. So his eyes are fairly close together, so. Yeah, it'll look even better when you put the paint blusher on it. Yeah, I'll do some shading on him in a minute. So I think about here and here, so I'm just gonna use my balling tool to just kind of, He's, his face isn't quite right, is it, the shape? Never mind. Okay. Yeah, he's starting to take shape a little bit, I think. I don't know whether to stick his eyebrows on or draw them on. I was going to draw them on with a pen. I just think we'll find it today. See, originally I was thinking, oh, maybe I could just use the black pearls in for his eyes, but they're round instead of oval, so they're not going to quite... They actually don't look too bad, do they? There's a black one, but... I've got some black modern okay. paste there. Yeah, it was only that I was thinking, because um, they've got a nice shine on them, that I could use them. I can't get it back out now. So they would work, but they're just not quite oval, so let's... You can use fondant or modelling paste, whichever. I've, just, I've got some modelling paste next to me, so that's why I'm going to use modelling okay, paste. We had, um, I just want to say a thank you to Ruby. Um, she posted one of her pig, a pig cake in our community group yesterday. Oh, yes, that's what gave me the idea of a pig. There you go. So thank you, Ruby, for that. Oh, and happy birthday to you, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday today. I forgot it's today, isn't it? Questions. Okay. If you've got any questions, pop them in comments and we'll see what we can answer. I am just going to work out the size of my eyes. Those pearls actually weren't too bad size wise because he's only got small eyes and obviously mine's slightly bigger than that one. Susanna likes jelly crystals on grapes. That sounds a bit, I don't know. I've never actually mm. used jelly crystals before. This is a bit like, must be like a bit like that sherbet dip, but not as No, no, it's, it's just that your jelly comes in crystal forms instead of the bar like what? We get, does that make sense? Like those people that you eat a bit of butter. Is it jelly crystals? I think you get more in America. Yeah. I think, I don't know. Are you American <laughs> or English <laughs> or somewhere else? I, I could be wrong. <laughs> I don't it could know. be wrong. Maybe. You probably do get jelly crystals actually in the UK as well. Just rolling these slightly oval in shape, I'm trying to get them similar size wise to each other. Let's see if we can just pop them in there. Do you know what? I should have actually shaded the face before we put this bit in. Yeah. So I'm going to take that back out. I've got yeah. my eyes there ready anyway. <laughs> I'd like to say a bit of a, an apology to anyone that may have messaged us over the last week or so. Um, it's with, whether it is email, Facebook, comments or anything. We are, running, we are running quite a way behind with messages at the moment. Yeah, we are. It's um, Basically all the posting is taking quite a while. Um, and then we're not finishing it till really quite late at night. And then we are doing you um, messages and queries, but it is just taking us a very long time. I'm just looking for a red that's a nice bright pink, not red even. Have we got the strawberry coloured one, Richard? I normally have a strawberry colour one knocking about and I can't find it. I didn't bother looking for it before the video because I thought, oh yeah, it's just on the side of the table just next to me. But it's not. Where's it gone, Richard? What have you lost? I want the strawberry pink. Oh, no, wait. No, that's rose. Where's my strawberry one? Is it, is I need it? a bright pink. Who knows where it's gone? I've lost it. Sorry, guys. Anyway, we're just going to put some colour on. So I want to darken. Can you see, like, on here? He's a little bit dark around here. Just a tiny bit here. I could put some around here. I don't want to do too much. Richard, I just looked in there. It's not in there. I needed to look somewhere different to where I just looked. Did you have it out? Just go get me a strawberry coloured one, please. Thank you. Okay, then I want a bigger brush. A bigger brush. I haven't showed you any brushes yet, have I? Um, maybe something smaller for in the small areas. Something bigger for like under here. Just make sure you've not used them for other colours and if you have, that you've given them a good wash out first. I don't know what, the, fra the fractal claret colour might be alright, Richard. Might use up some more highlights in the white in a minute. 
got a little bit of black actually on here. So I'm going to, yep, that'll do the job, thank you. Just gonna get my kitchen roll. So everybody watching, it's always handy when you've got a shop and you can get stuff. <laughs> I have to remember though that I've taken this off the shop floor. Ooh, it's not quite the colour I thought it was going to be, but it'll do. So, in fact, can you see I've got black in the brush, so when it's mixed with that, it gives me a really dark colour. Let's use it on its own first. If ever you're not sure what colour they're going to turn out, just put it on a scrap bit of um, your paste first. So, like, I say this, usually um, I test things by putting it on the actual cake, but then sometimes I realise I ruin it. It's okay. This colour will do the job. Do a little trick that to test on bits of fondant. Yeah, I don't usually remember. I usually go straight on. Straight on it and then think, why did I not test that separate? So, if you want it a little bit less patchy. Now, this is starting to get slightly tacky, but only slightly. But because, can you remember at the beginning it was a frozen cake? Or it thawed slightly, but not too much at this point. Um, which means it's slightly now tacky on the surface because as this is thawing out, I was decorating it, meaning this isn't completely dry. So really when you're shading, if you can, leave it till the surface feels um, like it's completely dry before you go on with any kind of shading. And you can airbrush. I realise I don't ever show you guys airbrushing and the reason is I hate cleaning my airbrush. I make a mess with this as well, but... You hate cleaning your airbrush. You don't clean my airbrush. I cleaned it both times. He doesn't clean my airbrush. But can you see the shading in that? And then it, obviously if you want to go darker, you can put a bit of black in there. In fact, it is, because it's darker on my brush, I'm not going to worry about loading in more black. It already looks darker because I've kind of cut through to the cake a tiny bit. Anywhere where I've got a harsh line, can you see the dust kind of picks up more on it? So I end up with an uneven, an uneven bit. I realise I haven't worked on his nose yet. So I'm going to want a slightly, I keep swapping to and fro off from what I'm doing, slightly darker pink than this one. Got a bit of bright pink to one side and also this one. So let's mix the two together. Again, I should have prepped a mid pink for you, Shania, in advance. I'm going to do like this mid pink as well for um, his ears. So we want, we're going to use like a bright pink for the body and then like a medium pink for the ears. I don't know where I've put his ears. I did have ears on the printout of him and I don't know where they've gone. I could just draw the nose on, but I think, I think I'm going to stick it on. And anywhere that you want to look actually um, highlighted in colour, we can add a bit of white to as well, actually. Right, hang on, so, I'm just going to go a bit smaller, no, squish it down. Uh, you want? Seems to have timed out. You've timed out? No, 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 it's still working. Okay. So instead of it being completely round, we're going to press it so it's a little bit more triangular, slightly, not too pointy. That kind of shape. And then I'm going to press it down. Does that look like the right shape? Yeah. How many have you been watching from the beginning? You guys must be getting bored of this now. Yeah, I've got, I think most people have been on. So, can you see I'm just kind of trying to catch the very edge, but when I've got quite a lot of powder on my brush, it drops on the cake and I can't blow it because obviously people are going to be eating it. <laughs> my sister's not going to appreciate me blowing on the cake. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to take a clean brush and just lightly see if I can catch some of that that I've dropped on there. June has asked, how do you stop fondant and modeling paste going hard even in airtight bags? Because I struggle um, with it quite a lot. So usually we have it in an airtight bag, but I also have it um, in an airtight container as well. So like a Tupperware tub, because I think the airtight bags aren't completely airtight and over time they do start to go a little bit firmer. And if we... And actually, the cupboard, like, it's, we don't keep it in the fridge or anything, but the cupboard in this room is really cold, isn't it? Yeah, it's really and it seems to not set hard. as Like, it's hard, but not set, if that makes sense, when it's in the cupboard. I think just because it's cold. Um, 
sometimes if it's a little bit hard but not crusty i'll just microwave it but there's the odd end bit where um it sometimes goes dry it's like if i tear it apart and then there's like a jaggedy edge the jaggedy edge is what always kind of dries and goes a little bit hard and crusty whereas if i roll it into a ball it seems to dry less than if i've got like a sharp edge or a jaggedy edge on the edge of it if that makes any sense at all what i just said a little bit or you can just blast it in the microwave for a little bit yeah it's um the fondant does dry out a little bit when it's been microwaved so you don't want to microwave it too much um but yeah you can try and soften it a little bit right i'm going to use some white i've just posted a question as well regarding what sort of thing we'll make on tuesday or what sort of thing you will make on tuesday okay so if you want anywhere lighter just can you see a bit of white on that i don't know if this actually shows up very much because it's quite subtle i've gone for a slightly bigger brush can you see sometimes i get the odd particle of color that's that kind of streaks does it show that i'm trying to make that a bit lighter or does it not really show yeah you can see on camera yeah so it looks like the light's hitting his head there a bit so you can use darker colors and lighter colors to enhance the cake it just stops it looking quite as flat like even when my cake looks a bit rubbish and it didn't quite turn out as i want which is usually most of the time it doesn't turn out as i'm planning um when i've added the dust it just looks so different where else does he want? I'll maybe put a bit of dust just under his mouth here. What is, it, what is the favourite cake you've ever made? I don't know. I can't remember all the cakes I've made. <laughs> I don't know. When I made Mary Poppins, I was pretty pleased with the Mary Poppins one. She's on YouTube, that one. Yeah. That one actually took quite a while to make. But I just wanted to try something a little bit more complicated than what I would usually do. <coughs> Does that show? I'm not convinced this is really showing on camera very it is, well. It's it is. I'm tempted to put a tiny bit of white on his nose as well. But just a little bit, not too much. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, I'm going to put some down here. So I want a bigger brush now. So I'm going to... That is a big brush. Yeah, no, it is. It's probably got a little bit too much colour on there as well. I don't know if I... Can you guys see that? So when I've dipped the big brush in, it holds a lot of powder. So dab off all the extra, otherwise you're going to end up with big brush marks. And I'm going to go from under the chin upwards. So you're best having not too much on the brush, and you can always add more. Whereas if I put a huge amount on the brush at one go, it leaves an exact kind of mark where I put it. He's starting to look better. I know you can't really see it very well, but I'm just trying to get around the... The, big the chin. very edges as well, under the chin, and even a little bit kind of just around here. Although you can see where I've got a little crease in him, can't you? So the powder will cling or stick to bits where there's a little lump and bump or crease. It will make certain bits more obvious. So if you haven't got a very even surface, sometimes the dusting will make that a little bit more obvious. How long do you think you've been going now? I don't know. One hour. And I've had three one minutes. hour. Wow. Sorry, guys, for going so long today. I realise it's not that long yet, but we haven't finished. <laughs> if anybody's ordered, <laughs> ordered anything last night, then maybe. Yeah, so. sorry, I'm, I'm making us now delayed, aren't I, with the, uh, with the orders. So, do I need to go any darker? The darker I go on this bit, the kind of further back it makes his, the bottom of his chin look. Does that make sense? Because it looks more shadowed, so it looks like it's set further back. Either that, or it just looks like he's got you a five o'clock shadow. One color dust that you could not go without. What color would you pick? Black. Black. Oh, okay. Because black is always a shaded color. Like you use black to make anything darker, so it would make him look slightly grey. But I could just use the black, like a tiny amount of black, just in those areas and even under there. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, if I've got more choice, then obviously I, I use a few different things, but black is the one, the one bit that I would say that I can't do without. Yeah. Okay, so let's stick his eyes in. You can use water, but because I've made a little indentation, they'll just slot in there anyway, to be honest. Are they too big? Is one bigger than the other? Uh, okay. They're in now. <laughs> okay, let's give him a little white dot. So just be careful, because I, I always lean on things. Oops, can you see I've not got a steady hand? 
And then when I lean on things, I end up putting an indentation into my cake. So if you don't want to use an edible pen, you don't have to. You can use um, a tiny dot of white fondant or you can use the white powder mixed with alcohol or water. Okay, now I'm trying to decide for... He's, hang on, let me just clear a bit of space over here. Um, for his eyebrows, whether to stick them on or whether to draw them on. I don't want them to poke out too much, you see. Should I draw them or stick them? What do you think? I, I, I personally, I would go with a little bit of stick them. Yeah, see, I was thinking if I draw them, they're flatter. But if I draw it and I draw it in the wrong place, I can't remove it, I suppose. Whereas if it's a piece that's stuck on and I haven't put water on yet, I can pull it off. Do you know what? I'm just going to use that one bit for both. So I'm actually not going to use the black pen like I planned. Yep. So what I'm going to do is just roll, roll this so there's a thin point either end. I'm going to squash it down. I'm just going to have a look at my template, actually, because I know that... Um, my face is bigger than this, so really I should do his eyebrows a little bit bigger, but I'm still just going to use it as a rough guide, so yeah. Roughly. Let's cut them in half. Oops, sorry, I'm headbutting the camera. Roughly in half. Just going to angle them a little bit. And his eyebrows are quite high up, actually, aren't they, on his head? So if you're not sure if they're going to be right, don't put water on at first, just put them in place as they are. Do these eyebrows look too thick? I was you thinking I'd not done them. He was a little bit bigger than Henry. Yeah, but I don't want him to look like he's got big old man eyebrows. Another reason not to use water with black straight away is because it will leave marks everywhere, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Oops, sticking to me instead of the cake. Oh, I've got a little bit of white on there. Where's that come from? I think it's actually a bit of, you know, a tiny, tiny bit of cake card when I cut it. It's a tiny strip of that, so just watch out for that. Yeah, that's good. Okay. I'm not going to take them off and re-put water on. I don't think I'm going to leave them. I think when he's got ears, he's actually going to look a lot more like Piglet. I'm more happy now than I was earlier. Earlier I was a bit like, I'm not convinced he's going to look right. Okay, so I need my board, I think, Richard. So my plan was to put cake in the body, but I'm not sure if I'm going to... have time. Have I got time? I don't know, Reese. Have you got... Let's see, where am I going to put him? I don't know whether to put him. I'm going to practice with this even though it's not simply bang in the middle or to one side. Because if he hangs over the edge slightly, it's not going to matter because he's on card. So the cake itself won't fall. Oh, it's just, dear, dear, it's going to get in the way of a box. Although actually my box is a square and this is rectangle, so I will still have space. Oh, decisions. I was going to put him slightly like that so his hand was up here. Yeah, can you pass me my buttercream or the, or the ganache? Either will do. So buttercream or ganache is fine for this next bit. And you guys will be able to work on a bigger space. I realise, like, I try and keep everything within this board just because it's easier for you guys to see yeah, what I'm doing. Uh, oh, this one's a ganache because I can see it's got white bits in. Either's fine. In fact, actually, ganache sets a bit better because it sets harder. Can you see? You can see it's ganache and white bits in when I didn't microwave it enough. Um, there you go, thanks. Um, sometimes, if it's warm weather and I use buttercream to stick things, slide. it slides, yeah, if it's been held at a tilt or anything. Whereas when this sets, it tends to, I mean, it does eventually melt, but it seems to be a little bit firmer. So I've just bent that board backwards so I can get my hands underneath. He actually doesn't want to be too high up because he's got big ears, hasn't he? So hang on, oops, covered in, covered in ganache and stuff. Actually, now I'm going to move him over there like that. So he's only slightly, he's actually not over the board at all so from above it looks like he is i'm just wiping the buttercream down i'll ganache down my apron can you see from the side he's not over the edge of the board but from oh, above like it gives that appearance that he is and then his ear might end up sticking up but that's fine i'm gonna try and just take it up a bit because okay you see if you can go a bit higher up where did i put his ears so i know these can you see these ears hang on i'm massive anyway and this size ear was to fit on a smaller thing so actually I need to make them even bigger than this so let's see I think maybe the same color as his nose so I'm just gonna mix some pale pink with some dark pink Oops, my microphone wire doesn't stretch over here oh wait I need that for my arms have I got any spare pe oh, can you pass me some like medium pink I can see some some spare medium pink this over there no the one next to it back next to it no this one here. that's the one thank you See, every time I open them, I put this in here. So you can see I have a lot of uh, leftover pink from various different things. 
Um, I opened a brand new one for what was going on the cake because sometimes I'm not sure how long I've had these in the bags for and I don't want anybody eating bits that have been in bags for ages. Danielle, since this cake's for you and Ella, don't eat the ears. I'm sure it is okay, but don't eat it anyway, just in case it's been in here a while. Um, she won't listen to me anyway. She likes fondant that much that so she will eat the ears. Okay. Hang on, let's put that back in there. And let's move that out of the way. Can you move that out of the way for me? Thank you. So we'll just give it a bit more of a knead. I was going to cut these out and try and cut the shape around, but actually it's pretty much just a kind of leaf shape, isn't it? So I don't think we'll worry about cutting it out to draw around them this time. But if it helps you when you're doing it, then, you know, cut out on your template. Have you guys all watched me doing face cakes on the YouTube channel before? You see, it does, it does take a lot longer, doesn't it, when you're watching me in real time? See, this is so much longer than, um, you know, when I did the dog cake. I don't know, how many of you guys watched me do the dog cakes the other week? I'd, I'd like to hope, I think. It, it was so much quicker, and actually this looks a lot simpler, so there's less involved in this, but it's taken me longer. It's mainly because I've tried to make it a bit neater because it's for someone, but also I'm trying to make it look like something. Because if it's piglet and it doesn't look like piglet. It's not piglet. Yeah. Or people will be like, it's meant to be a pig but it looks a bit rubbish. Um, <laughs> but with the dog, it just needed to look like a dog. It didn't need to look like anything in particular. So I don't have to spend as long and I'm not worried, you know, if I get the shape of it slightly um, like wrong, if it's too fat, too thin the head. If it's a made up character, it really doesn't matter. So it means I can make things so much quicker when it's something like this. Um, I have to spend that bit longer on it. Okay. This is huge amounts, so you don't have to, look, I haven't mixed it together properly. Um, you don't have to use as much as this, but like I say, this is all my spare off cuts. <laughs> I could have really done the ears in cake so that they stuck out, because see, this is quite high up, like the level of the head. So I could have done the ears pretty thick so that they matched. I'm just trying to rub out the creases. Try and get rid of that crease on there. Come on, crease disappear. Start by rolling it into a teardrop. They're probably not the same size as each other at all. These creases just want to keep coming back, don't they, into this ear. Let's go for a fat kind of teardrop. Diana, Diana has asked, what is our YouTube channel called? It's called Zoe's Fancy Cakes. Yeah, all our, all our social media channels, it's just all, they're all called Zoe's Fancy Cakes across Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. We've now, we're now on TikTok as well. Although TikTok's a bit beyond me. But, yeah, but no, we are we on TikTok, TikTok. and uh, even Twitter as well. So can you, mine's not the same shape as that, but it doesn't matter. This one, he's kind of got it folded to one side, so we can always fold his ear to one side a little bit. It's a bit bigger than that, isn't it? So it's a big chunk of ear. I might even put a little, I don't know if he has lines in his ears or if they're fairly flat. In fact, can you see, sorry, I'm just putting that over there. Oh, yeah. Is that where about six sticks on his head? I think it is. What I'm actually going to do is, before I press it down, I'm going to put a little bit of shading on because once I put shading on here, I'm probably going to drop the pink all over the board and then it's going to look a little bit messy. I'm actually going to put a bit more of a dip in there. I'm just going to use my finger to put that dip in here. I say I've got people from all over the world again. Australia, Philippines, mm. the States. Hi everyone, thank you for joining us. And are people happy that this one's taking a long time? People don't mind. <laughs> I'm paranoid that I do bore people after a while and I'm thinking after about 45 minutes of watching me, you'll all be a little bit fed up. I tell you what, I'm glad now that I decided to do this one today and not on the cake flicks because I had a 45 minute slot for cake flicks and this is what I was planning on doing. And I was thinking, yeah, yeah, I'll get this done in 45 minutes. Hey, you talk too much. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way I'd have got this done in 45 minutes, is there? I'm just going to make this one and then we'll put some dust on. Okay, so remember you can make these in cake and you can just cover them. You don't have to have them in icing like I have done. I'm just trying to, I've got the picture in front of me. I realise you guys can't see it. That were on his original ones. So I'm just trying to, got a little crack in there. It still is, I mean, I think if you're making cakes for the business, if you can get one, basically a, a 
good cake done in like an hour decorated. It's not too bad, I don't think, that's a roundabout. No, no, I mean, obviously you've got the time it takes to bake as well and yeah. all that kind of thing. So it's not always as quick as people think, is it? No, is some of get... the shaped ones, I think, are fairly quick and easy to do. And then some you can spend like a couple of days working on. Yeah, but I think that's when, you, that's when your price point gets difficult. Where if you can get things... But don't forget, people shouldn't be selling piglet, Richard. Well, no, no, but I mean, in general, just okay. if you can get a shape like these sorts of style cakes. Yeah, so I'm going darker pink again. I've just moved my dust, haven't I, out the, out the way. So this was the claret color. Now I forgot to tell Emily what I was using for this, so she might not have the link ready for you guys, but it's the claret pink. By Fractal. By Fractal that we're using. I do like these dusts. They have been popular with people. Yeah, which is, yeah we do these and- We do use them a lot. Oops, I maybe went a bit heavy handed there, but that's fine. I'm gonna just see if I can get a little bit just on the very edge. I would ask your sister what the, which the first bit of the cake she's going to eat, and I can imagine it would be ears. <laughs> I breathed in a lot for the powder then, I nearly wanted to choke. I kind of got the powder everywhere and breathed it in. Right, we'll bring them over a bit I think my sister's one of the very few people that just like eating No, I know quite a lot of people commenting that they love fondant. Do they? Yeah, yeah. Isn't it funny, when I, when I do videos, oops, way too much a there. a lot of uh, dust. So go slightly less heavy handed than me. Look how much, can you see how much like the brush contains though? That it takes me a long time to get that back out of the brush. Oh, a little crack in it there. Um, yeah, the, one of the comments I get most is, ugh, that's disgusting. Who would want to eat something with fondant? Obviously, like, I mean, if I was getting a cake like this, I, a lot of it is for pure decoration, to be honest, with the fondant, isn't it? So, because I'm not overly good with buttercream, for me, I, I wouldn't be very good at making something like this in buttercream. So fondant is like, uh, the material of my choice because they can make things look better in it. Maybe if I'd practiced more in um, in buttercream, it would be easier. But for me, if I was eating a cake like this, if it's rolled really thin, I can have it on the cake. But if it was really thick, I would definitely have to peel it off. But then saying that, do you know what? Even when um, when I'm having a cupcake, if it's got a lot of buttercream on, I, I have to pull some of the buttercream off. And I've got a really sweet tooth, and I still have to pull buttercream off. I can't eat. Huge, huge chunks. So a lot of the stuff is for... I've never noticed you've got sweet tooth. Decoration purposes. Just going to add a bit of white now to highlight. Oops, wrong one. I don't want to dip it in the pink. I'm trying to find a bit of kitchen roll where I haven't got, like, pink on. So I'll, that, I'll try and fold it up and put it back in the pot later. Anna, Anna has asked a question about yes. watching some of her older videos and how you progressed from those to doing like live videos pressure from richard and i've been trying to get zoe to do facebook lives for what well over a year i think so uh... yeah it's um i've got to be honest i'm more in my comfort zone doing things kind of when i'm just sat on my own than in the um facebook lives although the facebook lives haven't turned out to be as as bad as i've thought i actually get on with things more in a facebook live whereas when it's for YouTube, I can just disappear for several hours because I got bored of doing it in a in a Facebook Live. I can't be like, oh, yeah, come back later. I might finish it later because I'm bored for the day. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that's the advantage of this is it does make me finish things quicker. Um, and we're actually not having to edit the videos, whereas on the YouTube ones, we spend quite a while editing, especially because I have a habit of putting the camera on record when I think I've pressed stop and vice versa. Um, yeah, I forgot which year was which. Which one was which? I suppose it doesn't really matter, does it? They're both similar. One's a bit chunkier than the other one. I should push him in. Squeeze it a little bit more like that. Okay, again, I'm oops. I can see on camera. Oh, sorry. Yep. It kind of attaches near the top of his head, just there. I've not stuck water on at the moment because I'm not convinced if it's in the right place. So once it's on, can you see I can still play around with the shape of it? A little bit of white powder in there. So, does it look like they're on in the right place? Yeah, I was going to say, um, good comment. Everybody that's, that's watched you on the lives out, they're all really nice people too, which makes life a bit easier. Yeah, on YouTube, not everybody that watches has nice things to say. <laughs> get a lot of abuse on YouTube. Um, get that much abuse. We do get a bit of abuse, maybe not compared to some channels, but yeah, and um, I take it personally. <laughs> Especially when the comments are about me rather than what I'm making. Um, but yeah, so oh, it's looking ears good. on. Do you like that? Should I stick them in place? It looks fantastic. I'm so, gonna have to, I think I'm going to have to go higher there because when we start, are you putting a body on? Yeah, there? he needs a body. 
So right. I'm just going to put a little bit of water. You don't I really need much at all because this will just go tacky with that fondant and it'll hold that in place. Okay, but just make sure you've got them where you want them first. And then can you see a bit of water? Just make sure you don't drip it on, tiggle it on the way over. Well, I see the ears, are, yeah, you can tell who he is now with the ears. Have I put them on even? Yeah, on the top they look good. Okay, cool, Piglet's got ears. Right, I actually don't have much space for his body anyway. I'm gonna try and go up a little bit. So, sorry about the camera. Okay, so, I'm gonna leave my dusts there. I'm probably gonna make a huge amount of mess with them. Uh, so, I ideally, I wanted, it. does it? No, that's fine. <laughs> I can keep moving it, don't worry, I can keep moving it backwards and forwards. Or maybe if I move him, that angle a little bit more, does that? Yeah. Does that help a bit? I'm not convinced I've got him in shot still. Um, we'll bring him this I'm just going to move my one, dusts. Yeah. So I'm going to use a darker pink. So, like I was saying, I was planning on using those offcuts for inside the body. Um, but I'm just thinking for time, and I've got a lot of spare bright pink fondant. <laughs> Yeah. So for you guys at home, you're not really going to want to use all this much fondant on a body because it's quite a waste of fondant. And you could use cake if you've got Yeah, I, I would say put a piece of cake in. So a bit like we did with the head, so it's actually a really plain shape is the body. It's yeah. just like a little teardrop, like, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, pink stripes is bigger, isn't it? Well, he's pink and he's got lines across, but I don't know where I've put... Oh, hang on, this was the body. So can you see it was only a small little piece anyway, but I could have just put a piece of cake, but I am just... I dropped a bit of water there. We haven't got time. Um, yeah, just for the time today, I'm gonna stick it on in this. Okay, so this is like an old bit. Danielle, if you're still watching, she might not be watching now because she's probably actually got to do some actual work because she's supposed to be working from home. Um, try not to eat the body. I'm sure it is fine, like, but it's just leftover bits from previous. Well, I think I mean from the, it, previous it's, videos. It's generally, sugar. Well, I know, but it's more. If it's as long as it's not left over from a class. Okay, I think it needs to be slightly wider. I'm going to flatten it a bit so it's a bit wider. I'm going to try and get the corner of it so it fits in with the corner of my my board here. This is where I should really look at another picture. I think it comes slightly further up on here on him. More like that, I think. He doesn't have a big body, but he's got a slightly lopsided body on mine. Okay. Yeah. Will that do? I'm gonna, again, I'm hoping I haven't stuck it too hard to the board because I'm gonna, this actually probably will be, oh no, you yeah, can see it. Right. Oops, sorry, I was trying to hold it over there. I thought this one wouldn't be dark enough for you to see it on the pink, but you actually can still see it which I'm surprised about. So can you see the pink dust on um, either side? Good. Probably a little bit under there. So I don't know if you guys can see that template and it doesn't show very well, but it's a little bit darker there. This is where I would probably use a bit of black. People, are, we, we get a lot of questions asking where we get our templates from. We literally I find just a Google picture, images. Yeah, find a picture and print it uh, to the size that you would like, or roughly the size. Let's put a bit of white on this one. Get a bit of white down the middle. Oops. A bit untidy that. Okay. Somebody These said you lines are actually dark, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Somebody said what, sorry? You shouldn't eat the fondant, all that fondant with all the sugar because you get diabetes. <laughs> yeah, Richard's diabetic. Not from eating fondant though. <laughs> um yeah, yeah, it's definitely not good for you to eat this. I'd, uh, uh, who would want to eat that? Apart from my sister. My sister will definitely want to eat this. But yeah, no. Not for me. So like I say, remember, so this one I actually, his body's not very high up, but if I'd have done that in cake, I'd have just had like a kind of circle with a bit off the bottom and I could have had it a little bit higher up. Like I say, I've only done that in solid paste because I've got a load of spare paste left over from, I don't know what it was I've done with it, but there's a load spare um, and also, You'd be waiting ages for me, so to do it in cake. So I've been going nearly an hour and a half. I've been going an hour and a half. Not quite, right? but so I'm just using. Can you see the edge of that to put in some little lines now? Yeah. If somebody doesn't get their orders, um, it'll be because me and Zara haven't picked and packed them today. So All I'm right. It's just hinting <laughs> now that I need to hurry up. I think. Okay. 
Unfortunately, it's just me and Zoe here. We do everything. So, yeah, the lines are going in. I was going to say I want the lines to be a bit darker, but they don't actually look too bad, do they? Because it kind of looks darker between the white bits. Do I need to darken them more or not? I'm not sure. Maybe. This has still got a tiny bit of black in the brush, I think. So let's see if I can run this through. I'm not sure if that... Does it really show that it's looking darker or does it not really? I can hear my tummy rumbling now. <laughs> That chocolate bunny must not have filled me at breakfast. After I just said to people who would want to eat this much sugar in a fondant, I had a chocolate bunny for breakfast. Yeah, okay. I'm covering quite a lot of dust, so when I do his hands, they're probably not going to be quite as clean looking as they should be. Okay, so I'm going to take, move my dust out of the way there again. You go. He's in now. Thank you. You haven't left me much room to work on his arms, though. I know, you don't need much room. Okay, so this is the leftover paste that I had from the face. So I had two packs, two 250-gram packs is what I used, wasn't it? For the face, and this is my leftover yeah. stuff. But I, I had kept it quite thick, so you guys can go a little bit thinner. He's yeah, definitely yeah, yeah. looking better than I thought he was going to. At the beginning, I was a bit worried. I guess that's what it's always like, though, isn't it? At the beginning, I'm always like, ugh. It's just not turned out right. I'm hoping this is about the right size for his arms, because this is what I've got left over. I think he's got fairly skinny arms. He's also got marbled arms as mine. And he hasn't really got much shape to them. Thank you, everybody, for the stars. Thank you. Richard hasn't told me who just gave them, but well, thank no, you. I've been getting them throughout the day, so... Uh, thank you. Oh, I think his hand actually is supposed to reach up to his mouth. Where did I put Somebody my template? Said, yeah, it was on your template, but... Uh, oh, I don't yeah, know where... Oh, Richard's hidden my template. Yeah, look, it all goes almost to his mouth. So my arms are a bit... Um... Hang on, I'm going to mix this in again because of all the pink that's stuck on it. I don't like that marbled. I'm not happy with that marbling. In fact, I'll probably just give the cake off cakes cuts back to my sister from this one because it's her cake that she baked. And it's her chocolate cake recipe that we always use, isn't it, Richard, when we bake chocolate cakes? Because it's a nice recipe. Okay, let's see if I can roll this longer. I want to roll it on the work surface because there's so much powder. I'm going to just flatten his hand so it's a bit, a bit wider there. I think I haven't quite got that right for where it goes on his body. I think it's going to have to just go there, though. Do you think? Hmm. Yeah, I think it just looks a little bit flat, if that makes sense. Yeah, I haven't got enough to make it not look flat, though. I'm just going to go around that out a bit more. But it's got lots of fingerprints in it now. Do you know what? I'm going to put some water on here and a little bit under there. I'm just going to add a tiny bit of shading with my pink. Oops. The only thing is, because I've not got it very smooth, it's gonna show up. Can you see how it shows up on my fingerprints where I haven't haven't really yeah, smoothed it? Look at me showing you all the mistakes. But I think that's, a, that's what people like there because everything's not perfect. Do you know what I mean, is it? No, Nothing. <laughs> nothing's perfect. <laughs> okay, I'll try to smooth them out a little bit more. By having shading, it means that the colour difference, you see a bit of colour difference as well between his hand and the face. Let's see if we can get a bit of white on without going Anything. overboard or dropping it all over. Oops, I dropped a bit on his body. I'm not sure if the white's showing up on this bit, is it? Yeah, the white does show. Oops, I got a fingerprint of um, pink up there. You can see it that Yeah, thank you. And then... It's going to get more pink in him as well in a minute. So if you were making it, keep going to rinse the colour off your hands as well in between rather than just keeping going because it will get stuck in all the paste and it'll end up a bit grotty coloured. Okay, I'm actually thinking this looks like his arm is smaller than the one that's going up to his face. So, what do we do? So I'm undecided. I was like, do I put a little first birthday candle in? But it's pink, so I don't know if that's too much pink. Or so I found some of my some really old sweet peas so I was like oh do I put them in it I don't know let's do them an arm and then let's see because I was thinking like 
you know, does should he just have that kind of coming out of his hand? Should he hold the number one, do you think? Yeah, 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 he could or do. should he hold, oops, he'd have to hold them like this. Some flowers. Yeah, go with those. Which ones? What's more suitable for a one-year-old, though? Well, Piglet's not one, though. Should we have... Oh, actually, oh, yeah. What do people think? Flowers or a candle? Flowers or a number one? I'm just worried that it's too much pink on pink. I like the flowers. Um, we do actually have a YouTube video on the sweet peas. It's a bit of an old video, isn't it, that one? But I do, I do have one. Do you think his arm's all right that length or? Yeah. Okay, he can have some flowers then. So, because I do have a video on the flowers. Not that you need a video on the candle if I changed it for the candle, but. As Sharon said, what about a bloom with a, bloom with a number one? <laughs> that would be cute. Um, although it'll take me a while. So <laughs> I'm going, going with something that's ready made. So let's get some color on the arm. I'm gonna put a little bit where it's gonna fold. A little bit up there. So we're getting a few people saying flowers, flowers. Oh, we've got a couple of candles, flowers, more candles. The only thing is the candle will be facing the wrong way up for lighting it. Well, if I have uh, it laying yeah, down. That's a good point. Not thought of that. I'm just going to bend his arm slightly. Put a bit of white on the top. A little bit of pink on the bottom. So I've still got tons of that pink in that brush. Okay. And water coming on the back of the arm on this one. And I'm going to put it in about there. I'm actually not sure whereabouts on Piglet. His arm joins to his body. Because I can't find my picture again. Um, <laughs> other than that. And you can't tell, can you, on that? It doesn't really show you. I should just Google it. And then what I'll do is we'll put that in there. And we'll press his hand down like that. I'm glad he doesn't have fingers. <laughs> it makes my life so much easier. Ta-da! Does he need anything else? I haven't written Ella on it, have I? I should have written Ella on. I don't know. But I'm not going to write Ella on. You guys are all right, aren't you, with how you put names on things if you need to. Um, I would just use the little... What letters was I going to use? I put them over there, the letters I was going to use. Is but... he spin that way? Da -da. Mm. <laughs> You're going to go sideways. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but there he is. Just about finished. He doesn't look as good, does he, from that angle? His chin looks really big from that angle. Isn't it funny how when you look at him from different angles, he looks different? And when I'm making it, obviously it looks different to what you guys can see because I'm at a slightly different angle. Like, I'm not directly above like you are. And then I'm going to try and get some of that powder back in the pot as well. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Next Facebook Live, we're going to be doing them Tuesday and Thursday again, but also... Saturday, Saturday, we're on um, Cake Flicks. Saturday? No, you, you are. Yeah, I'm on Cake Flicks. Yeah, but you'll be there helping me. Um, so hopefully we can, we can work out how to get it on the page, okay? Um, yeah, let me know anything you want me to see me make on that. We didn't have any hiccups first thing this morning. Did we not? No, I think we went straight away. I think after about doing this 20 times, we're getting a bit more used to it now. Okay. Um, yeah, so Cake Flicks, 12 o'clock, lunchtime. Um, I'll probably be some kind of cake topper because I've got 45 minutes, so it has to be something that I can do fairly quickly. Um, Monday night will be the Ooh, yeah. basic figure class. So those of you that have bought the class, yeah, Monday night great. will be the live... Thank you. Monday night will be the live... I can just move further back so you can see me. Monday night will be the live version of the basic figure making class. So try and get in the group for that before then if you want to watch it live. Um, doesn't if you can't watch it live don't worry it doesn't matter at all you can watch it back at any time um tuesday night will be the question and answers session for that which again will be in that group we'll be finishing the figures on the wednesday night and there'll be another question and answers on saturday i don't want to go through too much detail um because you can find all that in the facebook group so remember if you've purchased the basic figures class join the group for that you will need your order number if you can't find your order number just let us know join in advance of monday okay so as soon as you've got your email from us join that group so that you're in there okay um you don't get accepted to the group i'm afraid if you haven't purchased the course though okay if you need details on the course just let us know and it is also on our website and then the free facebook lives are going to be one on saturday paul bradford's um cake flicks 12 o'clock lunchtime and then we'll be doing our tuesday and thursday one as normal 
at 10.30 in the morning, which again will be the free ones. So if you want to leave comments on suggestions and ideas and we can look at yep. those. <laughs> Yes, sir. Thank you ever so much again for joining us. Thank you for all the stars today. Anybody that asked about the Serat tools, we've got some more in stock now, although we're not sure if the hair tools have come, have we? We're no, going to have no. a good look through, um, but um, it's not looking like they're in the boxes. So we'll get them online as well. But thank you again for watching. Thanks, guys. Bye.